morning everyone how are we all doing hope you're all well uh, welcome back again another video um, so this discovery project is slowly coming to an end now thankfully not got that much more to do on it uh, got some more stuff through the post I shall spin you around and I'll show you what we're doing next CB radios let's have some fun right I'm no radio geek, all I want is, is just a, a radio to communicate with other drivers on the green lanes, etc. So it's not going to be anything special. A uh, company's called Thunderpole, they do some good kits, they do like a beginner kit, uh, an off-road kit, an expert kit. Go over and have a look, you'll see for yourself. Um, I got the off-road kit, uh, so you get the aerial, you get choice of mounts, uh, and obviously the CB radio itself. Uh, altogether, it was just a little over £90, which I don't think is that bad value. Um, I've gone for the flush fit mount instead of the uh, gutter mount that comes with it because it's a bit flimsy. So I'm sort of debating where to put that at the minute. Um, I've got a couple of ideas in mind. So I'm thinking I might mount it discreetly either in down there and have the aerial obviously coming up the back window there or I'm going to mount it flush there and have the aerial obviously coming up there for good reception uh, and that way at least I can take off this side panel and then I've got access to the uh, screws at the back there and then I'll feed the cable along the roof line in all the way to the front. Um, so if I did it on the door, I'd have to feed it through, through the wiring loom there and through if I did it on the back door, which would be a bit of a pain. So I'm thinking the amount on the side there is completely the best. And for the CB itself, oh, probably going to mount it. I've got a power source from the light there I can use and feed the aerial wire through the headliner come out obviously through there loop it back around or probably drill an all out here or something I don't know um, I'll probably put an all there for it to come out of Otherwise, I'm not having a cable jumped all the way across here to the uh, CB. So yeah, that's where we're at at the minute. Uh, we'll just go through the post. So still got a few other bits and bats to do in the meantime. I've got uh, that ready to wire up to the. I'm going to take a feed off that radio wire there, so it powers that up. So we'll get that done first, and then we'll uh, look at the CB. So stay tuned, uh, and we'll crack on. I'm inside the disco. I'm just working out where to put this. Um, at first, I was going to have it down there, but thinking about it, I'll probably keep clouting my leg on it. So I'm probably going to keep it up here. If I put my bracket. So, I can still get to the buttons behind and be up out of the way as well. Uh, uh, like I said, I've got to feed the aerial through the headliner and probably fetch it out here somewhere and then you can get plugged into the, uh, the unit itself then. I might do is maybe just nibble a bit out of the plastic there and just drill a hole somewhere there in the headliner so the cable's not trapped under the plastic or anything stupid like that. Uh, yeah, we'll see. Let's get this bracket up. Right, so that's the unit itself mounted. Uh, bracket's all screwed up. Uh, power supply there, I'm probably going to obviously tap into the 
to the right there. Um, as far as the wire goes, I'm thinking maybe drill a hole through there and pass the uh, pass the cable through, drop the light down, so that I'm not getting this cable sort of through and to squeeze it down there. So I think that might be the best option. Yeah, we'll do that. Right then, right then everybody, welcome back. It's been, I don't know, a week or so now. Uh, finally got the CB installed. Um, up here. All the cables are all nice and neatly done. Um, I didn't actually do it myself. Um, I took it down to the my local guys that I use and they uh, finished it off for me because I wanted the spotlights wind up as well and that's on a nice discreet switch there. If we come outside, got the aerial mounted up as well. There. So it's all been done nice and neat. Um, took off this interior panel and obviously drilled through mounted the uh, aerial through there and then fed the cable all the way down the headliner and obviously into the unit itself and the unit itself is wired I think you put it down the air pillar down there and into the fuse box and it works off the uh, ignition live so you can put the ignition on for that to work so uh, that'll be uh, getting used on the next green learning trip. Uh, give it a test out. Uh, pretty much getting there now with this truck. Uh, probably the next, well, maybe the next video after the after this one. It'll be more or less a full truck tour. Uh, got a roof rack build to finish. Uh, got a video on that. Probably next. Uh, got some accessories to go on the top, you know, like the I've got some storage crates and stuff. Uh, I've got a roof box ordered which will sit on that side. Uh, I've got some jerry cans which will sit in the middle there. Uh, yeah. Looks like the spotlights. They're all working now. The cable's nice and neatly tucked under there. Down into the, into the fuse box there to relay. Really so yeah, that's it. We'll uh, put it back on this weekend and get the roof rack stuff sorted out. So keep an eye out for that. There'll be a video on that soon. Uh, so thanks for watching. All the usual crap, like, subscribe, and what have you. And we'll see you again soon.